Sometimes you can test a magnetron and all the tests will show that it's okay and it can still be bad. This magnetron came out of the microwave here and everything tested fine, but it didn't work. I would not recommend any tests on these microwaves because the high voltage is deadly. This capacitor, if you don't understand how to discharge it, could kill you. The high voltage diode and the transformer have extremely high current and could kill you. This microwave oven would turn on, but it would not heat anything. I'll show you the typical procedure that people use to test these. You can set your meter to continuity or ohms. We'll set it to continuity. When you touch the wires, you can hear continuity. Now there should be continuity between the two pins, but you should not have continuity between this and the case. Now sometimes you may have to take this, push it on here nice and steady, and scratch just in case there's a coating on this. And there is no continuity through this. Now watch the meter, it won't move. We'll firmly press onto this pin and then to the case and you see no movement at all, which is what a good magnetron would do. We'll do the other one and you can see there is no movement on the meter at all. Another thing that you can look for is a hairline crack in these two magnets. Just look all the way around and see if there's any cracks anywhere in those magnets. Those magnets are in perfect shape in there. If you look all the way around, there's no cracks anywhere. So how do I know that this magnetron is bad if everything tests out okay? This magnetron was a little noisier and that was one clue in, but the way that I determined is this bad is I put another magnetron in and it worked fine. I'll show you the resistance between these two pins with the ohms mode on, and it should be about 0.2 or 0.3, and right there it's 0.2, so you can see this magnetron tests out. Even though a magnetron tests out okay, it can still be bad.